in any measure of success in, in context of the 70s, this car was a home run. And, and still today, almost 50 years later, three of the five years this car was out still remain in the top 10 best-selling Mustangs of all time. The Mustang II sold so well in its first year that the only car that it didn't eclipse in, in, in Mustang sales history was the original. With over 600,000 cars sold in its first year, it won Car of the Year awards. People loved the fact it was small and sporty, it was back to its original fun to drive roots. It had rack and pinion steering as standard for the first time, it had uh, uh, disc brakes as standard. I liked it because of its size. When something's small and light and you put a little horsepower in it, there's nothing better to drive. Yeah, what a lot of people don't realize, the Mustang II and the Pinto are as far divorced as, as just about any of the Ford family vehicles. They think the Mustang II, they call it Pinto Stang, as if it were based on the Pinto, although the, the original idea for the platform came from the Pinto. They don't share the same platform. You can't bolt any sheet metal off a Ford Pinto onto a Mustang II, or vice versa. I'm talking doors, windows, glass, hoods, fenders, nothing is the same. And the bottom line is, there's more Falcon in an original Mustang than there is Pinto in a Mustang II. All these typical long hood, short deck, kick up spoiler, the fastback design, all this was all integral to the original Mustang. And in fact, this Cobra II, why it has these Le Mans style stripes, that, that wasn't an accident. They wanted to harken back to those glory years of Mustang performance. All throughout history, Ford's engines have been measured in cubic inches. The first car ever to wear this metric badge to name to, for nomenclature on its engine was the 1978 Mustang II King Cobra. And on its hood, instead of saying 302, it said 5.0. All of a sudden, we were leaders and it threw people off. What's 5.0? Uh, that's the displacement of the engine. Really? We thought it was a 302. Well, technically it is. Even though the Mustang II got the black eye, the bottom line is this car really carried the flame. Uh, it re-energized people to see, well, how can we, uh, we've got the great looks now, we've got the fun to drive back, how can we get that back into horsepower? It took several years for Ford engineers to do it, but I gotta tell you, you know, without this car, we wouldn't have crossed that bridge. Several cars didn't follow that bridge with us. Camaro struggled into, uh, into the 90s and then actually went away.